Hello, this is Bobby Capuccio. Thank you for joining me for another PT on the Net video blog. I want to talk to you today about two very important factors related to being a fitness professional. Number one is identifying where our unique talents lie and understanding how to employ them to optimal capacity every single day. The second thing is the responsibility we have to keep ourselves constantly in an environment conducive to winning. And let me explain what I mean by both. First of all, anybody can write down a list of 46 things to do and at the end of the day edify their ego because they look down at the list and notice that they've accomplished 44 out of the 46. The truly effective fitness professional understands what exactly he or she does that is unique, that they do probably better than most other people. Now how you identify this is asking yourself what is it that you love to do that comes naturally to you that other fitness professionals, despite all of the time and energy, effort that they put into developing those same core competencies, develop them a lot slower and they still don't develop them to the height at which you perform them. That's usually where your innate talents and area of differentiation lies. It's the truly effective person who understands that and then you can look at the list of 46 things to do and say to themselves, which 44 can I afford to ignore today and which two items on this list, if I did them, would yield the maximum benefit for myself and would enrich the lives of people around me that depend on me primarily. I'm talking about our clients. And number two is keeping ourselves in an environment conducive to winning. And that means developing our skill sets every single day. How much time and energy do we set aside on a daily basis? Because what we do daily determines who we become permanently to develop our unique areas of differentiation, our unique areas of performance. And then the second thing, which seems kind of counterintuitive, is engaging in things that are not related to what it is we do. You know, I travel a little bit, and if you look in a health club at a trainer working the floor in London, and then you look at someone working in Los Angeles, and then you look at a trainer working in Hong Kong, we all kind of look the same. We kind of got the same uniform, the same hairdo, we kind of walk about the same way. You can pick us out from across the room easily. In some ways, that's good because the industry shows you uniformity, but in other ways, you got to think, if one of our primary jobs is innovation, and probably one of the greatest business gurus who ever lived, Peter Drucker, said that innovation is one out of two primary core competencies for any business, the other one was marketing, by the way, well, then we can't get innovation if we hang out and we draw information from people who go to the same conferences, look the same, have the same interests, we have to expand our scope of possibilities. As a matter of fact, it's said that Einstein used to play the violin because he knew that music would form new connections in his brain and those new connections could serve him when he went back and focused on his first passion, which was physics. So number one, what do we do every single day in the area of expertise that's relevant to what we do on our job that, and how do we expand those core competencies? Number two is what do we engage in every day that's completely unrelated, that allows novelty to spur creativity? And the third thing related to keeping ourselves in an environment conducive to winning is allowing people to qualify for our time. Who do we know? Who do you spend time with that drains you the most? Who are the 20% or even 10% we hope of people that take up 90% of your energy because they're either negative, they're judgmental, they're critical, and we need to extricate them from our life. I'm not saying cut them off and never spend time with them, but we can't spend so much time with them that they deplete us of all of the mental and emotional resources that allow us to be our best be our best for ourselves and be our best for other people that show up and train with us every single day.